I have a special guest, David Friedman of Knox Financial, and this is gonna completely change your world. If you're a realtor and you have a database, this guy is gonna help us unlock a ton of value and get some, uh, you know, some investor clients. And so David, thanks for being here today. It's great to be here, thank you. You know, you've got an interesting story. You founded and exited a, a couple businesses. So let's just start off. How did you get started in real estate for our audience so they can kind of get a backstory of who you are? Yeah, sure. So I bought my first home when I was 23. And as I was shopping for that home, my realtor said to me, you know, I'm having this problem with my computer. And I, I said, well, you know, I'm a grad student right now. And I, I know some things about computers. Maybe I can help you. And sure enough, I came in and he paid me for a couple hours of my work and I fixed this computer problem. And then I found out that pretty much every other uh, realtor in his office, it was Remax office, needed help with their computer. So I ended up being like the IT guy for this office uh, in my spare time, making my beer money in grad school. And, uh, and lo and behold, I figured out they needed more than just like, you know, break fix IT work. They needed a whole bunch of other solutions that they didn't have. And that, to make a very long story short, is what became uh, my first real estate tech company, which, which is Boston Logic, which is now known as Property Base. Nice. And Property Base, just for the audience, um, they're the, one of the largest CRM platforms in, in our space. Tell us a little bit about that company. Sure. So Property Base actually owns a number of pieces of software for real estate brokers and agents. Uh, so I built and grew the company under the name Boston Logic, which built a marketing and sales platform. Uh, yeah. We acquired Property Base, which is a CRM built on Salesforce, absolutely the most powerful CRM available. And uh, so that became our second product. We then just took the name Property Base because it was good in every time zone. And then we continued to acquire companies. So we acquired a transaction management company and a, a leads company and an implementer in Australia. So we now have offices on four continents and clients in about 75 countries and uh, you know, a few hundred employees. So it's, it's, uh, it is one of the largest software companies for the real estate brokerage vertical. So you might know a little bit about our industry is what you're saying. Yeah, I've, I've been around it a bit. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, what, I mean, if you were to sum up like the real estate space and why you exist in it and what you love about it, what would you say? Um, I, I think real estate is, I mean, I mean, there's just endless corners and opportunities and uh, ways to uh, create things within real estate. Whether you're creating like a lawn you enjoy spending time on, a garage where you like wrenching on your car, a technology business, a career as a, a broker who, uh, or I should say an agent who just decided to go from being, you know, soccer mom to millionaire. I mean, just think about all the things that happen in real estate. You build tall buildings, you create cities. I mean, come on, if that doesn't get you excited, then you need to check on your pulse. There you go. There you go. Okay. Well, cool, man. So let's talk your current um, new startup, something that's about six months old. Let's talk about Knox Financial. You started this business to solve a unique issue inside of the industry. And uh, let's, let's hear about that. Sure. So um, I'm going to start by disagreeing with you. I don't think it's unique at all. I think this is a situation that millions of people run into. Uh, so I lived in experience as lots of startups go. Uh, this is, this is how a lot of them start. You know, somebody has a problem and they got to solve it. And I was living in a two bedroom, one bath condo. I loved it. I lived there for a decade and it came time to move because I got engaged. And I said to myself, you know, why am I selling this home? Uh, while I lived there for 10 years, it went up in value a quarter million dollars. And I thought that was really great. I thought I'd, you know, made a, made a bunch of money and that was pretty cool. Right. Well, I, you know, I thought about holding on to, I thought about, I said, you know, why would I sell this? I'll turn into an investment property. And I thought about all the things I had to do. It was daunting. I and mean, maybe I needed, I can find a renter. I need a different insurance policy. I might need to refinance the property now. Um, I need to do maintenance or find a property manager. I need to figure out how the taxes would work. And I, I said, you know what? I'm, I'm running a startup. I don't have time. I'm going to sell this place. Well, a few years later, the new owners sold for $200,000 more than what I had sold it for. And I thought, well, I owned it for a decade and made 250. They owned it for like four years and made 200 grand. I had made a huge investing mistake. Um, I'm the kind of guy who likes to make fun of myself. So I started telling this story 
to my friends and, and said, hey, what an idiot I am. Remember that place, that, that place I lived in in my 20s and you came to all the parties on the roof? That place just sold for 200 grand more than what I sold it for. I'm an idiot. And so many of them had the same story. So this is why it's not a unique problem. It, it's totally common. The older that person was, I was telling the story, the more their story made mine look like nothing. You know, they'd say, listen, kid, I own this house. I sold it in 1988 for $250,000. I thought I was stealing money from the buyer. It's now worth two and a half million dollars. So your story is nothing. And if I sold on that property, I'd be a multimillionaire and I'm not. So anyway, uh, Knox exists to solve that problem. We, we said, hey, lots of people want to own investment property, but they don't want to take on the job of being uh, a landlord, a rental agent, a bookkeeper, an insurance broker, a lawyer, all combined into one. Then I say, I don't want, I want investments. I don't want new jobs. I have a job. And Knox exists. You give us the keys. You become the owner of the property, the owner of the investment, but not the landlord the rental agent, the maintenance guy, the insurance guy, et cetera. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And you solve the problem of, I don't have time, but I'd love to keep this property and make it an investment. That's right. So one thing that we, you know, we had talked about prior to the show is that you guys actually have a program for realtors, our audience, our clients, like the people that we serve that actually helps them unlock a lot of commission from their database in the investor space. Let's talk through that and what that looks like. Sure. So having spent most of my career working with realtors, uh, I know that realtors are always trying to find ways to turn their existing database and their past client base into their next set of clients. The best clients any business will have are their past clients who already trust them and want to do business with them again. Yes. So, we've created a program that allows you to mine your database for the folks in it who are interested in becoming uh, investment property owners. Now, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, hey, ah, gosh, I must have like one or two clients who would do that. Well, we would tell you that there's probably a lot more of them that would like to own investment property and they've written off the idea because they don't want to take on the work. They don't want to be a landlord. They don't want to be a bookkeeper and figure out their taxes, and figure out what to charge for rent, all those things. So that's why Knox exists. So they can be an investment property owner without the work. Got it. That makes total sense. So when you think, like, let's say I'm a, a real estate guy and I've got 10 years in, I've got 10,000 people in my database. What do you believe the return would be? I mean, would I have five new clients, 20 new clients? I mean, what do you think the, the average would be? I mean, I think on an annual basis, you got to assume, let's say you've got a thousand people. Let's just assume every year, 1% of them takes an interest. 1%, right? I mean, totally doable, totally achievable. So 10 people from your database every year say, yes, I'm interested in looking at an investment property. Uh, if you are a realtor worth your salt, you can look into your MLS and find units that would make a good investment property. It's not hard math to do. Uh, build a little spreadsheet, or actually I think we can, uh, we've got one you can download somewhere. Uh, you say, hey, 10 investors, here's a property I recommend. This is the net monthly cash flow year one. Based on the way rents are going, this is how much rent's gonna go up. Based on the market, this is how much wealth you're building with this much financing. Uh, the result is you can easily sell them on, hey, here's a good investment. You can actually position it for those owners. But first you have to identify them and then pick a property and say, hey, here's 10 people. One of you has got to want to buy this property. I think you're going to you email them once a month with a property that you think is a good investment. You'll get some sides out of that. I love that. I love that. And you know why I, I like it so much is we help our clients develop like another pillar of their business. And yep. investment properties can be a pillar of your business. In addition to your normal resale stuff, you know, helping investors buy and sell homes. And those guys are all about the math. There's no emotional purchasing going on usually. So I think it's a great opportunity. Um, one thing we were talking about is you had a unique, um, you know, uh, uh, study that you did about 
20 years of history. Like, let's talk through that and why this is such a big opportunity for realtors and the people who own the property. Yeah, happy to do it. So, like I said, I lived this experience and I started talking to a bunch of other folks about uh, my investment mistake. Yep. And one of those folks was, was Spencer Taylor, who I founded Knox with. And Spencer and I said to each other, is this just us? Are we just the guys who happen to own a couple homes? By the way, we, we both made this mistake in very different places on the map. Uh, not like neighboring uh, cities or towns, like different states. So did, did we both uh, just luck into this it was the question. So we went and we ran a 20-year regression study. And we took a look at the average home in America, which we pegged to the Case-Shiller Index. And we compared the performance of that home in the Knox program for 20 years, if we existed 20 years ago, right. versus the S&P with reinvested dividends. And the result was the average home, not the best home in America, not the perfect property, the average home in America would beat the S&P by 370% if Knox existed 20 years ago. So we said, all right, if that means a majority of homes in America would fit our program, then we feel like we can really bring a lot of value to a lot of people. And then that was sort of the, uh, the deciding factor. We said, there's broad appeal, there's mass appeal in this product, we have to build it. Wow. Wow. Well, okay. If somebody wanted to go deeper with Knox Financial and learn more in the real estate space, how would they do that, David? Sure. So uh, we can check out knoxfinancial.com for realtors who want to get our program. So we've basically created a program that helps you mine your customers, your, your, your past clients, your database for those uh, investors that go to knoxfinancial.com slash realtors, sign up, and we will send you uh, a whole bunch of information. It comes at you over time so we don't get inundated. And it's a toolkit for marketing to your database to find the investors in that, uh, that population. And there we go. David dropping knowledge and giving away free stuff, man. I appreciate that. All right. Well, this has been awesome. What's the one message you'd like to leave our audience with today as we kind of wrap up? Um, I think the audience should know that there's, uh, there's a time to sell and there's a time not to sell. And uh, there's a lot of folks who realize their home is a fantastic investment. And uh, whether you're a realtor or a homeowner, I, that's a question everybody should be asking. And, um, you know, the best realtors are advisors to their clients and how they can build wealth through real estate. And... Uh, we, we want to be a partner in that. So that's the message we want to, we want you all to take away. All right, David, thanks for your time today. Really appreciate having you. And if you're listening right now, go to knoxfinancial.com to find out more. And man, appreciate you today for coming, coming on our show. Thank you.